Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Something a little bit different for you today, and the start of a new series, Track Guides. Lots of people ask me and, and message me, how do you get good at a track? How do you go around that corner faster? Yeah, how do you get better at that car? Well, the first thing I usually reply with is, is go and watch a replay. Try and learn, you know, copy what someone who's, who's slightly faster than you is, is doing, you know, brake with their brake, accelerate in the way they accelerate, that sort of thing. And this, this is the next level. So for most of these track guides, I'll be calling upon my fellow Forza RC competitors and, and today we, we start the series with a bang. Um, please welcome uh, yeah, former, well, fellow FRC finalist, former WCG CGS champion, fellow TPR member and, and long-standing sort of close friend of mine, Davey Skills. Hello. Dave, how are you? <laughs> I'm alright, thanks. I'm alright, not too bad. Good, good, good. How's um, you know, how's life been treating you recently? Any sort of interesting projects on the go? Or no, not really. Um, life, life's been absolutely fine. Um, yeah, the biggest thing that happened is got engaged. So just planning a wedding, basically. That's, that's pretty much it. Have you got? Um, Thank you. Have you got your venue or a photographer or any of that booked or? Oh yes, we've got all that sorted. Just <laughs> got to pay for it now. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, that's the, uh, the, the tough bit, isn't it? <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Um, I mean, thoughts back to, to 2018. You've had a bit of time to sort of digest that. Um, you know, how do you feel it went? Um, I feel like I had a bit of tough luck. I feel as though I can perform or I can finish a lot higher than I finished. Um, in the FRC, um, the whole the whole process, every single stage of it was very difficult for me to participate in, and I ended up missing stages. And basically, whatever could go wrong did go wrong. So hopefully, that's that's the end of it. We can draw a line under that, and hopefully, we can improve. Good, good, and, and looking forward to well, looking ahead to to twenty nineteen. Yeah, I'm I'm looking to continue competing I want to want to improve I'm, I'm a very competitive person I want to be back back up on the top show everyone I've still got what it takes so I'm, I'm gonna go for it good excellent I guess one final question before we we get into the laps why why Sonoma what's the, the history here it's a, it's a technical track isn't it yeah it's always been one of my favorites um, I started well, I learned, learned the track existed when I started playing iRacing about 10 years ago, and I just fell in love with the track. As you say, it's very technical. It's got some high-speed corners as well. It's just got a mix of everything, you know, elevation changes as well. It's great. Brilliant. Uh, well, I'll hand over to you as we, we go into the first corner, Dave. Okay, so coming into the first turn, you want to lift early in this car and keep it tight, hug the left-hand side, and try and carry as much speed up until you're over the the crest of that turn and then put the power on going into turn two and three you want to keep it tight to the left not like i did there again carrying as much speed as you can going over the crest breaking early into turn four keeping it tight and turning in it a lot earlier than you think and then just pour it on the exit this downhill left or corkscrew whatever you want to call it is a very difficult turn a lot of weight transfer the car wants to lose grip going into it and coming out of it you just got to find that groove and just go for it. Um, this hairpin, it's just a case of getting the car slowed down and coasting through it until you feel comfortable to put the power on. Again, there's a little bump in the road there which changes the grip levels on the car. Uh, be careful for that. And this section is just crazy, especially in this car. With it being, a, I believe it's a mid-engine car, you've just got to find a balance and, and chuck it left, right. Second last turn, brake brake on, on, on the grass there and just carry as much speed through again on the last turn this hairpin um, I mess it up on this lap as you can see but you just dive into it keep it as tight as you can and get on the power as early as you can but without traction control on it's really hard in this car Brilliant and now we, we go you know, yeah. into a, a lap as we just change over to go around the first corner again slightly better than the last lap I think most of the power down there we go to a lap with traction 
Yeah, so with traction control on, you can just abuse the traction a lot more. If you look at this first turn, I get on the power a lot earlier and it just grips and I'm just dropping that ghost, which is my ghost without traction. Just easy. Um, again, the lap is a bit better. I've done it a few more laps here, you can see, but you've still got to be careful going over the crest. Just don't want to get on the power too early. It's more about carrying the speed through than getting on the power early in those turns. Um, but then, again, just abusing traction control as much as you can. Um, this downhill left, again, very tricky. Um, with traction, you can get on the power earlier, but then that adjusts how the car handles. You, you've got to, you've just got to abuse traction. I can't stress that enough on this game. Um, you can, you can go through corners so much quicker, so much easier. This hip, and again, you're just on the power, going over those bumps that I was being careful on. This is probably the only section that remains dodgy because of the quick change in direction, the bumps everywhere. As you can see, I just threw it through there and hoped. Uh, second last turn again, just, just throw it in and carry speed through nice and easy. I think that and then use that nice little pit head. Yep. Sorry, Dave, but I think that one's tricky because people um, but, break on the left, they took too much grass into that second last corner, but you actually stayed on, on the road. Yeah. Which I think it's, it's key, actually. Sorry, I'm busted. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you take. It's alright, if you take too much grass it can throw you to the left, because um, I knew I was on a good lap, I didn't want to do that, um, so yeah, I was, I was a bit careful there. Brilliant, well, thanks, uh, thanks for that Dave, it was fantastic to sit on, on board with you there for, for a couple of laps, one you know, without traction and, and one with, to just sort of soak up, well, I, I mean, not to give you too bigger a head, you know, an absolute master around you know that track, so, <laughs> so <laughs> thanks very much for that. I think we'll um, we'll leave it there for today. Um, yeah, make sure you you follow both myself and Dave on on Twitter. I'll I'll put the links below. And obviously, if you you like the video, you know thought it was informative and and you know, give it a like, share. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.